Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Designer and the Diamond Tool. Now, where is the Diamond Tool? Well, the Diamond Tool can be found over here, and it's just down here. It's the second one, Diamond Tool. And what does it do? It creates diamond shapes. Now, what diamond shape here? Obviously, I've just created a couple already, but let's just remove it, start from the beginning. So just go over here. Now I've got blue obviously there and stroke and I'm just gonna click there and just create a quick diamond design. Now this diamond design is live. You can interactively modify it. So you can see a little red dot down there, just a little red dot there. And what you can do, you can just change it. And as you go up, you actually notice just as you go over that midpoint there, it actually just clicks, slightly clicks and you can put it obviously to a standard diamond shape, but you can move it up again all the way up to there, or go that way. And also you can notice up here, there's the midpoint as well. So you can change that. So just go up, put it up there, see it's 75%. You can just change it, do it that way. And that's the only control you've got. Well, there's a mirror option at the side. Now the mirror option, well, what that does, you've got it there, just click, mirror, and it just puts it down obviously to 25%. Well, if it was actually set at 25%, Mirror should put it to 75%. So it just goes backwards and forwards, and that's it. That's the functionality. But of course, what you can do, it's still live, of course, you can, well, it's a vector design, so you can make it any size you want, but you can also squeeze it to make it like that sort of diamond design. You can also squeeze it this way, of course. And you can rotate it and do all the usual transformations that you would like to do with a normal shape. So what else can you do with the diamond design? Well, the diamond design, obviously you can change the fill, so just go over here, just click there, and you can change it, maybe make it like that. You can also add stroke. So go, go there, stroke, and you can change the color, maybe go for red, and maybe make it, obviously, so you can see it. You've got red around there. But also, you can obviously modify all these other settings. You can have dash as well. So there's a dash option there. So click there, and you can see you can get this really interesting sort of dash design. Well, what you can do, you can vary it by just going down the bottom here. I just put two. Now it's quite, I find it must make fiddly when you do these. You sort of go there one, maybe four. Unfortunately, there's no like presets for you to quickly select. So you can, but you can vary them obviously and just try them out. And you can modify the phase as well. So you can put that in, update that, maybe go for two. And you can see as you do that, it will move around. Also, you've got here, you've got brush strokes. Now, at this point, I've never actually understood particularly the brush feature since it doesn't actually allow you to access the brushes. But of course you can access the brushes over here. So I'm not really certain what that even does. So brushes, and just go over here, and you can add a brush very quick and easy, like that. And you can of course vary that brush. So if you want a fairly thin brush stroke, we'll click there, and of course it puts it back to its default. And there's a number of, you can always double click on that, and you can vary the various settings here, brush width, you can size variants, all those sorts of things. Now, there's not the usual range of things you can do with brushes, but there's a fair amount. And also you can change the opacity. Again, that seems to have no effect whatsoever. That seems to be about the only control that's of any use. So you can do that. Let's just get rid of that now. Let's just go back to just the standard one there and remove that, I don't want that. Now, what else can you do? Well, you can go and add a quick layer style or layer effects. So a layer, and you can go down here to layer effects. So if you want something slightly different from a, just a flat shape, what you can do, you can go down here to like bevel emboss. It's always a good one. So bevel emboss, and you can see straight away you've got this lovely bevel design. And of course you can change there. You've got emboss, outer, inner, and you can also modify direction there. You can also change the profile. So you can click there and you can tweak to your heart's content change profile. So you can create some more interesting designs using that. And of course, there's these other ones as well. You've got gradient overlay, so you can add that, scale, modify that, change the gradient, and so on. Click. Now, I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't want the... Let's just move that again. Just go back to the basic design there. What you can also do, you can combine the design. So what you can do, just go over here. You've got with the move tool, hold down the alt or option key. So hold that down and then simply drag. And what happens, you get a duplicate design. Now what you can do, you can resize that duplicate design. And of course what you can do, you can go over here and you can change the color. So you've got a lovely diamond design there. And of course you can use 
this alignment here. So you just click there so you can align it slightly differently. And of course you can hold down the alter option key again and duplicate that. And then re reduce the size there and you can change colour for that one. And of course once you've done all this, you can always put it to the symbols. So you can think, you know what, I have that as a symbol. Well you can, and you can just knock my mic with the symbol, but first thing you've got to do is you've got to group it. So go down here and select group. So you group all of these diamond designs, group them. And now what you've got with the symbols over here, and if you can't find that, all the various menus are in here. So view, studio, and you've got brushes, layers, swatches, symbols, etc. You can now just simply click create, and there it is stored over there. That's a great way. And of course, once you do that, you can just drag it in there. And now what you can do, you can edit this design. So decide, you know what, I'm gonna remove that. And you can see all those designs will change. Change the color, make that white, and you can move that down there. So you can create some very interesting designs that way. I'm just gonna remove those. Now just, let's go over there. Now you've got this design there. Well, you can also fill it with, I've been obviously using solid colors, but what you can do, you can also fill with a gradient. So you can just go over here to the gradient tool or just go here to fill. And you've got, now this option, to be honest, I've never used this. I generally just go straight to the swatches. So I'm just gonna click there, swatch. So you can see you can fill it very quickly with that. What you can do then is go to the gradient tool. You don't need to go to swatches. You could just use this gradient tool, just move there. But you can change origin point, the lens, so move that around, go from elliptical, radial, and you can also go, if you want, with bitmap, which brings in an image. You can go and select an image, and then you can tile the image and mirror, all that sort of thing. I'm not gonna show that, because it's just, doesn't mean, I'm just, just showing you that you can introduce additional color designs. And of course, you can always modify this. You can always go up here, click there, and you've got all these stops. So just there, you've got a little stop, all these little dots there. You can move them around, you can see there. You can also change your opacity. So if you want to, you can make opacity there, go to the green, change your opacity there, and so and so on. Also, what you can do, let's just get rid of that now. And I'm just gonna go and set that as a solid color again. So color. Now, got some options here. You've also got transparency. So you've got transparency tool, so you can add a transparency. So just simply drag across there, and straight away you can see you now we've got transparency. So if you've got, say, two or three shapes, let's say hold down the alter option key again, drag, and you can see now you can see through the design. So you can create some very interesting designs simply by just doing that. Now I'm just gonna go, oops, get rid of that, and create a design there again. So now let's just go to layers. What you can do with layers, of course, is you can combine them using blending modes as well. So again, hold down the alter option key, duplicate the design, obviously change the color, it's probably not gonna be much use otherwise. So let's just change color, go for maybe yellow. Now that's top. So you've got layers here. What you can do, just go over here, and you can run through there, and you've got obviously the difference there. So you can just change the color that way as well. So you can create some interesting designs like that. It's still live, of course. Both the shapes can be independently changed. Always select the diamond tool to actually do it, and you can just modify it like that. So it's still editable at that point. Now, what you can also do, let's just move that out of the way now, you can paste inside this design so you can create some more interesting designs. Maybe let's go for a circle. So a circle, maybe you want dots in this design. So I'll make it smaller than that, slightly smaller. What you can do, cut the design, so edit and cut. I don't know what it actually displayed. What then you can do, I can go to edit, with that selected, with the diamond design selected, paste inside. Now, unfortunately it puts it where it originally was, so you have to drag it over. And then you can see it's inside, so if you put it there, it's just cut off. What you can then do, you can just move that there. And you can make a nice dotted design, a vector design, so you can still change them. All these designs can be changed. You can obviously resize that. All inside that, you can also change the fill. So maybe you might want to go for a pink design. So you can select those designs, go maybe different colors. Sort of polka dot designed within that. And they're all editable. And only just by simply 
You can obviously select the diamond there, but you can select the individual shapes within that and move them around if you want to do that. What you can also do, let's just, now I've got this diamond design. I can turn it into a, just a normal path, a normal shape. So with this design selected, what you can do, you can go over to, well, oh, there it is, convert to curves. Convert to curves in a few places. So you've got layer and let's see, convert to curves, it's there. And also you can right click as well, convert to curves. I'm just gonna use that one. So convert it to curves. What you can then do is you've got various tools that you can manipulate. So just go over here to the nodes. There is the node tool up there. Node tool. And then you can just simply move it. So you can change your diamond design and you can create obviously different designs, very simple like that. So it's quite an easy way for creating some slightly more unique diamond designs than the basic ones. And you can obviously remove things as well. So let's just go back to this design again. And again, modify that slightly. What you can also do, you can modify, well, let's just go to the another one, contour tool. Contour tools recently added, and I'm just gonna select that. And what you can do, just go in or out. And you can see it rounds it. You've got contour types up here. So you can just go up there, change contour types, and you can create a variety of different designs. And it's still live, so you can just go in or out like that. And you can change radius up here as well, so you can just see that design there. What also you can do is just remove that, create another diamond design. You can go over here to the right over here to the corner tool. And with the corner tool selected, I'm going to select all of them. Now you can see all of those corners now are selected. I've got a blue little dot there. And what you can do is just move that inside. You can see these lovely circles appear, which is quite nice. And then you can round it. So you get a nice rounded diamond design. And it's still editable, so you can always quickly go back. Just click on there, modify that, and change that diamond design like that. And of course, again, you can hold down the Alt or Option key, duplicate the design, and create a variety of different designs. Well, that's the next thing I want to show you. What you can also do, you've got these selected. So select both of the layers. So you've got curve, curve, both selected. Now, obviously, I could use diamond as well. What you can do, you can go to a layer, and you've got geometry. So what you can do, you can go to subtract and you can subtract that. So you can create a more interesting shape with a diamond shape like that. But say you've got another one, let's just go, let's go back to the diamond tool, probably best. Let's start with the, the actual diamond shape. So there's the diamond, hold down the ultra option key to duplicate it, hold down another one. So you can create a couple more. So there, just resize that a bit. So all those are selected. You can align, just go up here just align those, and you've got this design here. Well, what you can do, you can go to layer, and you can go to geometry, and you can go to here, XOR. Well, slightly odd one, XOR, and you've got this design. So you can create another sort of a variety of different designs. I think it's quite a nice little feature. And that's it, well no, sorry, it's not it. Just gonna just suddenly thought of something else. Right, you've got your diamond design there. And you think, you know what? I wanna fill that with some type. So what I can do, I can go over here and I can just go to a layer. It's not in text. Weirdly, it's not in text. I must admit, I always think it should be in there. So but I go to layer and there's an option here, convert to text path. Now what that does is so just go over here to the text and you can just go across there and you can see now you've got your insertion point there. And I'm just gonna type something. So you can type some text around, just type something very quickly like that. So you can type, create some very interesting designs. And of course you can still modify the design. So you can actually still go over to the diamond over here and you've still got this design. So you can still modify that. And of course you can resize it. So it will resize as well. And also you can do the same, okay, the diamond, go over here to a layer and text frame this time. So text path, text frame just means you can within the frame on there. So what I'm gonna do, text, and insert filler, and you've got your text there. And again, it's still live, so you can just simply go over to the diamond tool, just select that again, and you can just go up and down like that. And also resize it, of course, like that. So there's a variety of different designs that you can create using the diamond. And I'm certain there's probably hundreds more things you can do with the diamond feature, all done via this lovely diamond tool. And of course, there's a variety of other designs as well that you can use. And actually, probably this is the 
least in terms of functionality. I would have loved to have seen the diamond tool to have had a sort of option for a diamond ring so you could actually drag it in and out and those sort of things. I'm certain there could have been a few more additional features, controls added to this, but sadly there's not. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Finity Designer, Affinity Photo, Publisher, Invent, uh, Illustrator, try to think of some more, Painter and many others. Also, if you've got any comments, it's always nice to hear things maybe I did wrong. I point out things because it's quite possible that something there that I did maybe too fast. I can always explain it in the comments. Always happy to put some uh, comments about those sort of things. Also, dislike or like. If you didn't like it, please put a comment. Obviously, a dislike. Absolutely fine. Thank you much.